Hey guys! Okay, so I am so excited to be filming this video right now. Obviously, I'm excited to film every video that I make for you guys because I love filming. But I am super excited about this one because this is my first video that I am filming on my new camera. Um, I have been saving up for so long to get a new camera because my old one just wasn't a super great camera. Um, there was nothing wrong with it, but it just wasn't amazing quality videos. So I've been saving up for a really long time to get a new one, and I finally saved up enough, and I did. So I hope that you guys can tell a difference in the video quality and you think the videos look better because obviously I got the camera for you guys so I can make better quality videos. So I am just going to get into the video now. Enough about camera talk. That today's video is going to be an Ulta haul. Yay, yay, yay. Um, I did go to Ulta. You guys know that I always say um, I don't have any Ultas near me. Well, I just got back to school and we have an Ulta near us at school now. So I was so happy. So I went to it and picked up a few things. I didn't go crazy, but I did get a couple things that I am super excited to talk to you guys. The first thing that I got is this Garnier BB cream. Um, this is what the box looks like. And I just got the one for combination to oily skin. I got it in the color medium deep. I got the one for combination to oily skin just because I did try their regular formula one. The one that is um, just for regular skin. And I thought that it was on the slight bit greasy side. I do have dry combination skin, mostly dry, which is why I got the regular one at first. But I thought that it was pretty greasy. So that's why I decided to pick up the combination to oily skin version. And hopefully I like this one better. I did get it in medium deep just because I thought that the light medium one would be too light. Um, this is what it looks like, like the actual bottle. So yeah, that's just what it looks like. And hopefully I'll like it. It has SPF 20 in it, so that's great. It's keeping my skin safe while also making me look beautiful. And yeah, it says all day shine control for even tone and oil control. So yeah, for you oily skin girls, you might like this a lot better than their regular one. Because I think their regular one they had out for a while before they came out with this formula. So if you try the regular one, try out this one because you will probably like it better. The next thing I purchased isn't anything super special. It's a self-tanning applicator mitt. I just got the Ulta one. Basically, I went there to get the St. Tropez tanner mitt, but um, that one was $8 and the Ulta one was $4. So I was just like, might as well just get the Ulta one. Um, normally, I just buy um, rubber gloves when I apply my tanner, but I figured that getting the mitt in the long run would be a lot cheaper because like a box of like 100 rubber gloves is like $8, where this was only $4 for this and I could reuse this like a bunch of times. And I also think that the applicator mitt will um, help to make a even more seamless application of my self tanner because in the gloves sometimes you really have to work it in to make sure you don't get streaks from your fingers but this obviously you're not going to get finger streaks because it's like literally like a mitten almost the next thing that i purchased when i was at ulta is this l'oreal true match foundation everyone always talks about how amazing this is so i figured i had to try it out this is what it looks like if you have never seen it before um nicole guerrero she always talks about this this is like her holy girl foundation and um, i'm kind of over the revlon color stay i don't know like it's just a little bit too cakey for me. Recently I've been finding, so I don't really use it that much. And the L'Oreal True Match is supposed to be similar to the Revlon Color Stay, but not as full coverage, so that's kind of what I was looking for. I did get it in the color W5 Sand Beige, um, which I think might be a little light for me, but hopefully I can you know, put some bronzer or whatever and work it out. So it works fine, so I'm super excited to give this a try. The next product that I picked up at Ulta is the NYX Matte Bronzer, and I did get it in the color Deep Tan. Um, this is just what the packaging looks like. I have never been able to get my hands on NYX Matte Bronzer, so as soon as I saw this at that Ulta, I was like, I need to get it, because at any Ulta I've ever been to or any other place that sells NYX products, they never have the matte bronzer, or if they have it, it's sold out. So I was so excited when I saw that they had it that I was like, oh my god, I have to get it. So I'm really, really, really excited to try this. I haven't even taken it out in the packaging yet, so I don't know if I like it or not, or really don't have any thoughts on it. But I will definitely let you guys know if I like it just because I've heard so many amazing things about this. So yeah. And I'm kind of scared that I got the deep tan one. It does come in three colors. I think one was like light, medium, and deep tan. And, you know, I'm going to use it to contour mainly, which is why I got the deep tan one, just because it's going to be, I'm not going to use it as an all-over facial bronzer, because then I think that this would be way too dark, but I think for contouring, it should be okay. The next product that I picked up is the Anastasia, I think I'm saying it right, Anastasia, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, because I don't really know how to say things, but the Anastasia Brow Wiz, um, so excited to try this out. This is what the packaging looks like, and then I'll just take the actual pencil out to show you guys. I actually haven't used it yet, this is my first time opening it. So it's like super thin, which is what I'm looking for. Um, it'll be very easy to 
kind of just really get in there and define your eyebrows with this just because it's so thin and the girl at Ulta really recommended it for eyebrows and I have been obsessed with eyebrows recently so I really wanted to try this. I did get it in the color Ash Blonde which is the lightest color that they have just because I have light hair so I don't want to have super super dark eyebrows. Personally I just think that that looks kind of weird so I got the lightest one that they had which a lot of times is really hard for us light eyebrowed girls. It's really hard to find an eyebrow pencil that is light enough so I'm hoping that this one is light enough and not too dark because a lot of times even the one for blondes is like dark brown and I'm just like no like that doesn't work so hopefully I will like that. I will definitely let you guys know and do a tutorial with it if I end up liking it. The next thing I got is nothing too fancy, but I did buy it, so I figured I would talk about it in my haul. I just got the Ulta Non-Acetone Nail Polish Remover. Um, this is what it looks like. I was really bad for a really long time and used like pure acetone to take off my nail polish just because I didn't want to have to spend so much time like scrubbing up my nails with non-acetone nail polish remover. Um, so I went in with the pure acetone. So you literally just touch the pure acetone to your nail and all of the nail polish came off, but it's so, so damaging to your nails. So I decided, you know what, I'm not going to use it anymore. So that's why I went ahead and picked up nail polish remover with non-acetone in it so I can try and strengthen up my nails again and, you know, stop really taking the life out of them with the acetone so yeah and the last two products that i got i don't have the packaging anymore because i actually already tried them out because i needed them i was literally out of them so i needed them um and the first one is the l'oreal telescopic shaky extensions mascara you guys know that i love this mascara so much um so i picked this one up it is different packaging um because i got it in the color carbon black instead of blackest black so this is like a new one and I have tried it out and I do like it just as much as the regular L'Oreal Telescopic except I do find that it is a little bit more liquidy, less dry than the L'Oreal Telescopic um, just black is black formula. So what I did is I just left it overnight open. You know, still with this in there, but just a little bit open so some of the air could go in there and kind of dry it out a little bit. And now I love it just as much as the other ones. It just was like really liquidy when I first got it. And I don't know if it was just this one or if it was the fact that it is the carbon black color instead of the blackest black. I wasn't quite sure, but after I left it out to kind of dry a little bit, um, it was perfect and amazing just as much as I love the other one. So I really like it and it's super, super black on the eyes. So I really, really like the effect that it gets. And then the next mascara that I got is the L'Oreal Lash Blast Volume, the orange one. I got another one of these. Um, and like I said, I don't have the packaging anymore. I'm sorry because I took it out of the packaging like literally as soon as I bought it and used it. Um, I love this. This is such an amazing mascara for adding volume to your lashes. Like literally there is no other mascara that will add the amount of volume that this mascara will add. Literally this with the L'Oreal Telescopic like together is like literally my holy grail. Like these two mascaras together are amazing because this one lengthens and this one adds volume. So literally just amazing so yeah that is all the stuff that i picked up in my haul from ulta again not too many things but a lot of the stuff i'm really excited to give a try and then i will definitely do like reviews if i like them or let you guys know so yeah let me know in the comments any new videos that you guys want to see because i want to continue to make videos that you guys like to watch thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye